Lazzy's head, and there he goes. The fist gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. Penta kill. Priestly with the quad feet. Gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to St. Clair Saints Valorant. My name, Jackson the Pride Brown, joined alongside Donka J. Donka here tonight. And man, we have a banger of a matchup. It's the NECC regular season finale going to be between St. Clair College and Lebanon. So, I mean, it's going to be a very intense matchup here. Both teams barely even in standings. Lebanon slightly lower. And this is actually a must-win game for Lebanon to actually, you know, go into playoffs. If they lose, there's still a slight chance they can make playoffs there. But it, they have to get at least a 2-1, even if they do lose. So, um, let's see what happens. But Donka, how are you feeling about this game? I mean, I'm feeling great. I was talking to the players earlier, and... Uh... We have versed them before. Mm -hmm. uh, there was like a tournament and there was like an e N -E -C -E N -A -C -E, and uh, we beat them in both of the maps or the games. Yeah, for sure. So they have experience playing against this roster. When I walked in there too, talking to some of those players, they were watching VODs of those other, like of Lebanon playing their previous games. Not just against St. Clair, but against other teams as well. So uh, St. Clair looking fairly experienced on kind of what Lebanon is probably going to do here tonight in this matchup. Uh, but we're going to find out nonetheless. And yeah, so as we were saying, Lebanon, they're at a record currently three and four or it's something like that. They're like yeah, one game negative or something. And they need to pick up. <laughs> they need, need, need to pick up this one to, uh, you know, essentially go into playoffs with a decent seating. But for the Saints, there's a lot on the line for them as well. Uh, yeah, sorry, just got worried. Lebanon actually two and three sorry I was a little bit off there but yeah there's one game negative in their record um and their the round differential is not too hot their map differential is not too hot either so Lebanon desperately needing something here tonight uh but same with St. Clair you know if, if St. Clair loses this game here we do drop down to that bottom half of the pl teams that make playoffs and then we're going to be ending up playing a top seed so really big here for both teams going into playoffs as that regular season finale comes to an end I'm, uh, I'm actually really excited um like I want to see a very good game. I want to I want to see like three zero or sorry two zero. Or yeah, something like that. Something, I, something just, you know. We, Me and you were talking a little before this on kind of what we're anticipating to see. You know, St. Clair playing Lebanon before makes it a bit easier for us to give a little bit of a prediction and kind of an insight on this game, especially looking now that we're actually through a whole regular season. We have a whole load of stats to go off of on try to like do predictions and things like that, right? So we're both taking St. Clair 2-0 here tonight, uh, but I think we're both on the same page. They're, they're not going to be blowout games. They're yeah. going to be fairly in striking distance here, and uh, that's very much what I'm anticipating to see here tonight, but we're going to find out as our game one just around the corner, and that will be on bind. St. Clair starting on attack. How do you feel about that? You know, I was talking to them uh, earlier, and they were like, uh, "So they have a, they have like trained on ascent, they have trained on bind now, and they have trained on like two other maps, I believe." Uh, so they're like, "If they ban ascent, in which they probably did ban ascent, they had the first ban, I believe." Yeah, ascent's um, not in the uh, pool here tonight. So yeah. yeah, so uh, Saint Clair did choose bind, and bind is like their second favorite map at this point. Like, I feel like I feel like they're gonna do very good with it. Yeah, so Bind, definitely one of their top maps, like you were saying, and it is actually going to be them starting on the attack of here. So I believe this is actually St. Clair's map pick um, that they're actually coming through with, and it's going to result in them starting on the attack here. And, uh, you know, starting on the attack of Bind, it gives me a little bit of, like, jitters a little bit, just because I find that attacking on Bind is sometimes pretty difficult if you can't get some early game momentum. So I think that's one thing that's really big here for the Saints, is find some early game momentum, pick up a few, you know, the first, second, third round potentially potentially, and uh, try to carry it on with that one. Uh, but we'll see what happens overall. I think on the attacking side, though, I'm looking get for the Saints to get a minimum of five. You know what? Choose your agent. See, now, with with uh, SCC, it's it's kind of difficult, like, because they're either on, like, their days usually is, okay, I'm either going to be doing great on attacking or great well, on defending. Yeah, it, I completely agree with you, right? It's either you get one or the other, right? It feels like a lot of the times you're going to see one side from the Saints that is lacking a little bit on one day, but the other side is excelling. So that's where it makes things really tough and tricky. And I assume we're going to find out kind of what kind of day it is here in just a few moments as we do get underway with the attacking side of Bind and map one number one of the regular season finale here of NECC. But 
nonetheless, here we go and we're getting things underway. Uh, the operator selects are through, the character selects are through. So we got a Sova, an Astra, a Yoru, and a Killjoy, and a Raze here for the side of the Saints. And over there on the side of Lebanon Valley, very, very similar. They're going to have the Killjoy just the same as the Saints. They're going to have the Jet as well. They're going to have the Sova. Things that are different, though, you're going to see is the Omen in the Sky there from Lebanon Valley. <laughs> Lebanon Valley going to be a little bit different compared to St. Clair's Astra and Yoru. Casper on the Yoru, remember last time that happened? Oh, yeah. I mean, it, it was absolutely just, like, so hard to play against. Like, Casper on Yoru, I would be putting my fist through walls. Because, like, it is not a fun time uh, playing against a really goaded Yoru. And it seems as if that's one thing that Casper's been working on a lot here in these past couple weeks. So, we're going to find out in just a second. We see the one-way Omen smoke come through. That's probably a big factor of the Omen pick, is just getting that one-way smoke off. And we already see an early gunfight here over onto Casper on this Yoru. And that's actually going to be Wombat picking up the opening pick on a Nyx. If he can dies to uh, the... The jet. Yeah, and there's a lot going on in showers here. Wombat and I don't know who gonna get some trades through, and now it's gonna be St. Clair with the player advantage and bomb down. They also have some post plants as you see JRC stacked up in U-Haul, all up to the Sova and Killjoy, but there's a great Sova dart there to take down VCAN, and he will actually spot out another. That is going to be Casper trying to get this gunfight done and dusted here through short. He's just wasting time. What a pick from Claude. Didn't take down JRC there. Now Casper's got a lot of work to do. He finds one. He is a 1v1. The Sova has to get aggressive on him. Casper just baiting out time. Does the Sova have time for the defuse? I think so. He has yeah, plenty. Yeah, he does. He, wow. has, he has a lot of time. That, that was very interesting. That was a very good first round, especially that it's just a pistols round. Like, and it was very even. Yeah, I, that was a very, very even round there. And I'm honestly quite surprised that Lebanon Valley was as strong in the retakes as they did. I think that Sova from behind, getting that dart off and getting a kill with that dart was massive to open it up. And then following it up with a little bit more. And you see Nyx there like, so how much HP were you left with there? Like, I was, I was close. I know I was. But no, it's going to be Lebanon Valley starting off early 1-0. And that does worry me a little bit because as I was saying in the pregame, I think we got to see St. Clair off to like a decent start. Uh, but overall, I think as long as they can bounce back here in the second round or the third round, they should be a-okay. Yeah, it looks like that they also have bought, like, mid-buy. Yeah, you, you see a lot of sheriffs and the frenzies and ghosts and whatnot right now. A lot of light pistols uh, with some light armor, I think, on a couple of them as well. We'll see nonetheless, but I love this skin. I love the new package so much. It's so beautiful. It's so cartoonish. It's just like, it, it gives you that, you know anime vibe you know oh, no i know for sure I, I do find it distracting sometimes there on those new skins and whatnot coming through and you see all the pows and clicks and bangs and reloads and whatnot there but overall it is going to be st Clair playing this one a little bit slower here on the attack it still looks like the focus is a uh got some showers control here now so it's looking a little bit better for them but here we go the entry to the site's getting underway looks like that they're also going to be going on a while kj's over there looking at Sova, I believe. Yeah, JRC gonna send through a grenade there, but that is gonna be two already for the side of Lebanon opening us up. Now putting it to a five on three. St. Clair just trying to find a pick at this point. You, you, you might not win this round, obviously, uh, but you're really just looking for that pick because you just want something to help out your economic value. Reliable here, though, gonna catch out that Killjoy. There's a pick for them, and then Wombat down in the process, all up to Casper with the Yoru. He's got a Sheriff, he's looking for some heads, and I think if you're Casper here, you're just looking for one or two kills. Yeah, especially that you're getting flanked right now by Silva and Jet. It's pretty Stop difficult done. to go one way. Yeah, there's a great flash, great thought process there from Casper to try to get himself out of that situation a little bit, uh, but it's not going to work out, and that's going to be a flawless round from Lebanon Valley to extend their lead now to 2 nothing. However, however, St. Clair will have a much better buy than Lebanon this round. Ah... Uh... Yeah, I mean, the armor, not so much, but the weaponry, definitely. Look at that. You see four specters against, uh, you know, all rifles, three vandals, two phantoms for the side of St. Clair. Honestly, what I would choose is, uh, what's it called? A specter and a full, a full shield. Yeah. I don't know. Specter's it, cracked. It, it really does depend, um, but I do see, you know, these guys here. They're coming through. On the attack, you know, you choose more of your battles, so I feel like, you know, on the attack, it might be a little bit more valuable to have your weapons, uh, but we'll see what happens. Overall, JRC gonna pick off that little bit of util there early. Also, Omen looks like that he's trapped in a portal, just waiting for a movement, just waiting for something to blind them. Yeah, he's waiting to see a call out from one of his teammates from that little hookah nest area to really call out that there's players mid and then he'll swing through those doors and try to find something there. Casper, though, getting aggressive, spots out one, but he can't find it. The Ares will win that gunfight. Wow. 
That was also a very great bait, because now uh, SEC has full sight control on A. And Wombat's in a great position to cut off any kind of rotation. It's going to force Lebanon Valley to come through this whole attacking side at spawn. They are, yeah, and the turret's going to let that information get revealed. So here we go. St. Clair, they have some intel that there's at least one behind, but little do they know, it's literally everybody but the jet. And this jet is going to be a concern to cut off this point. Yeah, we can see that Sova's up there. Jersey. I mean, they, so far they've wasted a lot of time on the clock, and the jet's down, so they only have to focus on these gunfights on the front now. Yes, they don't know that completely as of now, but uh, they're going to assume so in a second here when this bomb keeps on ticking. JRC finds one, but gets instantly traded out from I don't know who, and now Wombat, great shock dart there, going to force some players off the point, gets a cleaned up kill. Now in this two-on-two, -two, no time for it, and it's going to be a St. Clair round win. Last player standing. And wow, no weapons even recovered for Lebanon Valley. They're going to have money, so they will have the opportunity to buy again here. But St. Clair, big round win there. Honestly, like what I would choose is that that was a great play by them, uh, by uh, LVC. Because even like if they were to save their guns, they would lose a lot of money. True, yep. I mean, so, either way, they were kind of like in a position where they were going to get in gunfights no matter what they did. So uh, there we go, yeah. Like you said, they're going to save some money doing that. And I thought they were going to have a little bit better of a buy. It's actually going to be their jet stuck on a Spectre. And for being your duelist, that's somebody that you don't really want stuck on a Spectre. I think he does have his alt, though, so he can pull out knives if need be. Uh, we'll see what happens here, though, in just a second. The one-way smoke has been coming through every single round, so this is kind of like more supporting that omen pick from Lebanon Valley. Uh, this one-way smoke is actually so massive. That smoke, honestly, like, you can just see their feet. You're like, okay, I see their feet. I can just aim where I think their head is going to be exactly. and just do a lot of damage. Yeah, it works out fairly well in that regard. And Beacon, uh, the showers push, I feel like he's going to get traded. Uh, he's going to find one and then get traded maybe, but no. Wow, Blossom going to get that trade off on that one. But then John Cook going to cl clean it up. And that's a two for one in favor of Lebanon. And now it's going to be another one for John Cook and Claude. So now just like that, it's all up to the Sova being Wombat in a one on four. And, and this is just no opportunity to win this one here. He might be able to get a plant, but no. Sova's going to be here watching this. And now he knows the Sova's here as he sees that utility come through. Wombat just in a position where at this point in time, he's just looking for a pick. But now everybody on the map knows where Wombat is. Looks like also Omen is thinking of teleporting, maybe even blinding before teleporting. He does hit the TP, two TP hits, so Wombat has all that intel now. He is blinded. Nobody gonna push him quite yet. He does pull out the pistol, he might switch back over to a weapon. No, wow. Interesting plays, but Nick's gonna clean it up, and that's gonna be a third for Lebanon. That was an interesting play by Sova. Yeah, it, it definitely was, but... Hey, we'll see what happens. St. Clair now trailing by a bit, and it seems as if a lot of them are like having a hard time getting it going, except for Wombat. You know, you see him at 4-4 four and four and the rest of the guys down there all at only a kill to their name, so this might be the time to turn things around here a little bit, but maybe not actually, as St. Clair is forced onto a pistol buy. Like I was saying before, it's either a full attacking side or full uh, defending side, and I feel like this is a full defending side well, for SEC at this point. Yeah, luckily for the Saints, I know it doesn't really kind of like transfer map to map, but they will be starting on the defending side for maps two and three. If it does go map three, uh, they will be starting on that defending side, so that's a little bit of a benefit there. But big aggressive push there that is actually from VCAN or sorry, JRC, and they're actually got so much, so many players so far pushed up here already. It is a two on four, though, so it's gonna make things a little bit more difficult. Casper. Could potentially try to find something in here. JRC just watching their backs, and U Haul is fairly locked down. St. Clair did a good job of getting in here, but now they're kind of just stuck in U Haul with stuck in U Haul with pistols and kind of like no hope. Closed. Also, the they don't even have the spike if they want to make any moves. It's, it's interesting. If Casper walks through this smoke, he does find Nyx, I think, but no, he won't. He's gonna Nyx gonna be behind a wall. So I mean, St. Clair just have to make a move. You're stuck in U-Haul. Something has to happen, and it's not gonna be an easy decision. At this point, it's better to die than to save because oh, if you sure. die, you just get a lot more money. They know this too, and they also know they have 40 seconds to work with. Um, I think they're just kind of waiting things out a little bit and seeing if Lebanon will either push them or kind of like maybe think that they might have snuck out somewhere. Uh, but like, look at this. Like, they know that they're in left. here. Yeah, they're like, okay, well, tell, uh, we know that Euro didn't did not teleport, and Raze is probably in there with 65 HP. 
Yeah, I don't think that Jet actually spotted out JRC, so the intel's not there as of now, but it will be now as they know that at least one player in there will be JRC. And that actually is going to be the Jet taking some damage down here now. And there is maybe a frag for JRC, but no. Now Casper wraps around, tries to get something going with the shorty, but no. Nick's going to shut it down. Lebanon picking up a fourth. And St. Clair uh, are starting to... It's starting to look a little bit scarier. I mean, we, we have... With past games that we have played, I believe it was last week or the week before, something like that. Um, Saint Saint Clair, what they did was they got six uh, six rounds and then they gave one round to uh, the opponents. I feel like right now is happening kind of the opposite. Yeah, it's like a little bit of a flip flap there, but yeah, for sure. So we are only five rounds through, not even a quarter of the way through this game here yet. So lots of time still to play. Um, it's just like I was saying, right? St. Clair, you, you got to find something here soon. Honestly, this round, I'd say, is like a massive round. Casper being taken down to 37 is not a great start, but Wombat will be able to get a trade. Casper is a madman for being in here this quick. He will get the intel on Reliable, and there's the refrag. But now they know another one's elbow too, but that should be two for Jet. And you can't let that happen if you're the Saints. All up to the Killjoy and Astro in a two on three. And it is not going to be easy as Nyx is waiting. Also, Sky uses her ult. Just to find out where the uh, both of the opponents are. Yeah, this is uh, this is looking good for Lebanon right now. Saint Clair is going to need to do something big to turn things around. Casper, I, I don't know if I agree with them getting as aggressive as he did there on that B site. I feel like they have the opportunity to slow it down, play for your picks, play just try to get an entry, something like play it a little bit slower and win your gunfights or something rather than the full on rush. But nonetheless, it's going to be Lebanon still here. Leading 4-1. I mean, with uh, back to what you're saying, uh, with Casper was kind of different. Oh, big win for V-Can. Takes a lot of damage there early, but then will regroup himself and wins that gunfight. Put us into a two-on-two. -two. However, St. Clair will be weaker now. The Omen TP will get shut down, so they should have a fairly open opportunity to plant here. Now, there's no one detained, and... Is all up to the side of Lebanon Valley for the retake. St. Clair is getting their post plants in. This is really anybody's round to win, Donka. Yeah, especially that it's a 2v2. But we've seen that Omen has been fragging right now, like, a lot. So now they know at least one player garden. You'd all honestly probably assume that both of them are here. And now this smoke, that's what's going to be so lethal. It's going to force players to push out of this smoke if the bomb does get baited. And it's going to get baited in just a second. Now also, big problem. Part of this bomb is inside the tube. So they can hop it from there. And that Astra is now gone for these uh, little portal stars there. And they will get one. VK will take down next. But now no time for Ion White. And there's a round for the Saints. Is, is VK going to make it? He made it. He didn't die by the that, by the spike. Yeah, very good stuff there from St. Clair to even up. I, I was saying, must win round, and they win it. Obviously, give me a heart attack in the process. Why not? But uh, St. Clair, going to keep things a little bit closer here. Now, Wombat's having a game for himself here right now. Like, I know he might only be 6-6, six and six, but being 6-6 six and six down two rounds it is massive. For Wombat right now, he's looking very good. All he, all he needs to do is just encourage his team and be like, okay, guys, we got this. We're going to do better. 100%. 100%. And you see for the side of Lebanon, though, everybody's very evenly fragging out, which makes it kind of worrisome for St. Clair because everybody's pulling their own weight from the side of Lebanon. It's not like there's just like one carry where you're like, all right, guys, if we shut down this one player, we can come through and win this game. No. Everybody from Lebanon currently having a pretty big impact here in this game. So there will be an alt coming through from the Sova of Lebanon, but will not connect on anything. And... It's now going to be a big flank from Jet, though, coming around. Looks like that race can be flanking that Jet, maybe? Mm. Yeah. Wombat will get one of his uh, dart frags. And did JRC spot out this Jet back here? I don't think so, actually. Uh, JRC going to be making his way across here now, looking for something. Nobody going to be down the alley, and he's going to make his way up into Hookah with the rest of his teammates. Jet is going to be a problem to deal with. It it it's, it's a big factor in this round. They don't know where, or they don't know that she's there, but also the jet doesn't know that they are oh, there. Oh wow, big Odin frags as well. Casper on the lurk! Maybe a little bit of a whiff, but he will clean up Nyx nonetheless, and I don't know who will find Blossom though. JRC's gotta go big here. Wombat will do the trick. And now the Astro Wall gonna shut off that player. And that is now also gonna be the Jet coming through and making his appearance in this round. That's another shot there from the Jet. The Jet causing problems! And will it be a third for the Jet? Not quite yet. 
The Odin player is still to worry about as Casper is making his way out with Spike, running this one to A. No one's going to be here to contest him on the plant. He's going to get this down. He's going to get his post plant. And uh, this is going to be a close round. I, I don't think that they know that he... No, they, they have don't. no clue. Now they do. <laughs> now they do for sure. But they are going to take this over to A here now. They're going to waste about, you know, 5 to 10 seconds on a rotation. And uh, that's really good news for Casper. It means he can play the time a little bit more. Um, but also, the thing is with Casper, he has no idea which way they're going to come from as of now. And he's got to deal two of them. Thankfully for him, they're both coming the same way. Plus, Jet is pretty low on HP. <gasps> That's that's very unfortunate there for him, and he can't even clean it up. He aims down the sight, surprisingly. And I don't know if it's just me, but, like, that looks like a little bit of, like, Casper being off today right now. Like, uh, those looks like kills that, like, Casper typically cleans up with ease um, that he's just not able to find right now. I feel like he just misclicked. Like, he, he held the, it's called the aim button by accident. Yeah, that, that could be the case, but even then, right, at that point in time, like, he had that jet going through on the cross at 1 HP. All he needed was one bullet in that jet, and those are shots that also usually are connecting on him, and then also, the, you know, the misclick in U-Haul there. That's going to be a little bit upsetting because he had a very good opportunity to close out that round in the one-on-two. Just not going to come through for him, and now Lebanon Valley leading 5-2 as we're just over halfway through this first half, and Deploying it's going to be St. Clair desperately trying to find something. Cover going now. Well, what do you think? Do you think that uh, St. Clair should get more kills? Or uh, more rounds? Uh, St. Clair... Uh, what do you mean more rounds? St. Clair, I'd say, need at least four. At least four to make this a winnable game here on this side. Uh, so, they're on... They're not really even on pace for it right now, which is a concern, right? So, we'll see. Wombat going to get shot off on the rotation. Reliable cleaning it up. And Lebanon now in a four on two. All against Casper and I believe JRC. Yep, there it is. So, they are both coming through here around this spawn area. But Reliable's right here and ready for it. He's all the intel he needs. That dart could clean up JRC. But no, it's just going to tag out Casper. And there's the dart cleaning them up. Reliable finds two. Lebanon Valley going to extend their lead now to 6-2. And St. Clair um, still, still just trying to put something together. All right. This, this is exactly what happened with Wamp Wombat. He got out his knife. Do you know which knife he has? The new one, the one just came, that came out of the shop. So, he was distracted. He was just hitting it around just like that. And uh, as he was as he was just playing around with it, uh, Reliable just killed him. Yeah, so, it's, uh, it's tough there. But, hey, Here. we got St. Clair now. Here. They're still very much in this game. There's still a lot of game left to play. Four rounds remain on their attacking half. They have a bye. I, I don't want to say this is a must-win round, but it, it's it's pretty close to it. Decan and Nyx might have an early engagement here. They also have the spike back in mid, just in case if they want to ever switch sites. Yeah, Nyx going to find Vcan there just as we switch off. And Casper, though, able to answer back with a refrag on the B site. So doing some work here. Now there is two players in Garden, which is actually fairly interesting to see from Lebanon right now. It's not something you see very often, players playing Garden. And uh, Casper's actually going to get a lot of that intel revealed. Now, the Sova hasn't revealed himself yet, though. So the Sova is very much unknown and can still cause problems there. They know at least one player's garden, but they only know it's the Jet. They have no clue about the Silver right to the left, and it might cause Wombat a victim. And yes, it does. Reliable going to pick that frag up. Now they know all the intel's there. They see him out. They know he's stuck in that corner. Can they win the round? Three on two in favor of Lebanon. Lebanon, sorry. Blossom dies to... Or Blossom kills Reliable. Now, all they have to worry about is just a jet. They're just very low. Blossom's at 1 HP, too. And the, the jet, like you were saying, is also very low at, like, 4 or 5 HP there. So, I mean, 9, yeah. So, there's a lot of uh, a lot of players low HP here right now. Bomb going down from Blossom over here towards this B site. Casper needs a frag. He finds one. Okay, that's that's the frag that he needed. It, I was hoping it was going to be Nyx rather than their jet, but he does get a big pick there, and that will really help them out. Nyx going to send through that shadow. Now, they know he's here, but Casper going to get caught out. Now, will they predict on the Blossom just sitting underneath i love this play from blossom i think blossom wins this round you know what i really want to believe it he has one hp and a hope and a dream he knows this player is stuck up here and there it is right blossom great stuff there cleans up next picks up a third for st Clair. six three is the score line we see in front of us now today and st Clair, this might be the start of the turn things around a little bit right they knock down that economy on lebanon valley so lebanon gonna have a, they're still obviously gonna have a decent bit of money they've picked up a good amount of rounds in this game um but they knock down some of that economy and they get a full buy for themselves here essentially yes you do have four players missing that full armor but you have those full weapons and you have you know blossom 
awesome with the full armor at least. So uh, very much more winnable round for St. Clair here in this one. I feel like St. Clair right now really needs to win this round. Yeah. Like, oh, oh, I completely agree, right? At this point in time, it's like if they lose this round, they're forced in what? Another pistol round? And then it's just uh, another tough situation that they're in. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's going to be another focus towards B. And I've been liking these B pushes a lot more lately because it, it, they've been winning more rounds there, right? They've been having, even if they lose the round, they've been having a lot closer of rounds on B to winning. So I think just sticking to this B site a little bit here now is A-OK -okay for them because there is only three rounds remaining in this half. You can focus B for a little bit, though. Yeah, Je Jet and uh, and Euro are just over there. They're like, they're like right next to each other. Yeah, there's two for the killjoy. JRC will answer back with one, though. Now putting it into a four on three in favor of Lebanon. JRC going to be on the move here. He could find one. He will take down the turret early. There's good stuff there to take out that util and not allow that turret to come through. He will have another one in 40 seconds, though, so it could be a possibility. And Jet going to be holding the TP. Does Casper know that Jet's in that TP? I think so. Yeah, uh, Casper did hear uh, that Jet uh, going the TP. He doesn't know which person is in there, obviously, but... yeah. He knows there's at least one in the TP, and that's a big factor in this round. Nick's going to be on A as well. So technically, really, the only one on B is the Killjoy. But does Killjoy have ult right now for them? That's the question, because if Killjoy has ult for Lebanon Valley, which he doesn't, uh, could have been big for them. Casper finds that jet there in the TP. That's a big player to take out of it. And now it's all just about stopping these retakes. Omen might be TPing here in a second. There's the TP. Claude will find one. Claude's been having a game for himself on the Killjoy today. Nick's going to TP onto site. We'll run into a couple of and JRC. Clean it up, though, and Shut it down! St. Clair Saints pick up a fourth. Lebanon Valley starting to drop a couple rounds here now, and St. Clair putting themselves back in this one for two straight. Yeah, now now St. Clair is back on track, I'd say. Uh, oh, I, I completely agree. That Those two unanswered rounds were massive. You see the scoreline before that, you're looking at it, and what, it was 6-2? Yeah, 6-2. That, that's a scoreline that you can't really work with at that point in time. Winning two more, 6-4, something that's a lot more workable. If you're the Saints here, you have two rounds remaining in this half. I'd say you just want to win at least one. Um, oh, yeah, no, winning I... at least one would be fine. If they go, if they go down in this half, down what is it, seven five? I think that's okay. I mean, I agree with you, but I'd rather. You oh, know. for sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> six six is the best uh, the Saints can get this half to right now, and we'll see if they're able to do that. Vcan clearing out all this early and maybe getting a pick. Yes, it is. There's a great one there onto the jet as he's trying to escape. Wombat finds one with the dart as well. So there's a reliable down just like that. So now we're in a four on three in favor of the Saints. Killjoy goes down from Claude. But the frag, maybe. No, Wombat shut down. Really good opportunity. And no, Claude finds another. And Blossom comes in here too. Will shut down the lockdown. That was what they were trying to do the whole time. So they get the lockdown shut down. But at what cost? You gave the till Killjoy two picks. And now you're forced to rotate off and go over to A. Omen and the rest of the crew from the side of Lebanon is already on rotation as well this is essentially a race to a and we'll see how it goes if i if i was sec right now i would have actually just fake tp'd and just go straight b oh. so we do see vk and he hops back into the smoke as of now blossom's the one in like a riskier spot here vkan oh that killjoy big we'll shut down that uh, two i own who is being the last player alive now but is getting pushed from the saints that is going to be VCAN finding one, but can't do anything more than that. The defuse is there. Lebanon picking up a seven. St. Clair now looking to find the last round of half potentially, but that's the thing. That round was big because whoever won that round will have a buy for this last round, and whoever lost it won't really. So now you'll see this come to light here throughout the buys, and uh, St. Clair is just putting together something right now that isn't going to be their ideal buy by any means. I feel like even though that they're going with Spectres, like I see, even though that they're going with Spectres and like Light Shield and stuff like that, I feel like they still have a very big chance. I think we also need to see JRC's ult. Uh, it's massive, actually both their ults really. We have to see those get used because JRC hasn't popped his ult yet this game. Um, and his ult's a phenomenal, art, a phenomenal ult in my opinion. Uh, it can really just shoot in the general decision. Yeah, there it is. JRC's ult coming through already. Can he find one? Yes, he does. That's exactly why they get the entry frag. Yes, Jet will answer back with one of his own. Jet answers actually Jack with two, but JRC, big share of pick to the head. Wombat gets one with the dart onto the Jet. Now in the two on two. St. Clair, they know... 
that they're one they're, they know where JRC is. Claude has it all lined up and ready to go. The peak there from JRC, but he wins it. Now two on one for the Saints. V can JRC. They know that the Sova is coming around, and I think St. Clair is sending this one back over to B, but no, I'm wrong. JRC will just be heading up into heaven. Reliable making his way over here towards the site with the Spectre, watching every which angle possible. No one from the Saints peaking. They're playing this one fairly smart. Sova has got a lot of work to do. Spots out one there early on the VCAN. Will the swing from heaven come through? Not yet from JRC. They're playing it safe. JRC peeks out. He knows the players to the right. And they have all the cards in their favor. Reliable. Swings on the Killjoy. Finds the frag. Now a 1v1. JRC has time to work with. All he has to do is shut down this player. He spots it out. Shuts it down. And that's a 7 to 5 half. JRC gets a 4k that round. Holy. Yeah, wow. JRC. Jeez. What a play. <laughs> So, pistol buys coming through. Um, I think this is a massive pistol round for the Saints. you got to win this pistol. Well, like, not really. You'll be down 8-5 otherwise. But it would be very, very, very beneficial to this whole half for them to start it off with a couple of good round wins and build an economy. Yeah, like, I mean, like you're saying, like, winning pistol rounds sometimes can be very important. Like, Oh, for sure. Like, if you're beginning the game and you, like, lose the first two rounds, like, pistol rounds, it's kind of, like, whatever well, because it's just the first two rounds, but... It builds your... It's the economy because you look at those first two rounds and you see, okay, the team who won those first two, economy is way better than the team who lost those first two. And you look at it from the perspective that, you know, you win a pistol round, you're usually winning a second or third round with that. Most of the time, if you win your pistol. Reliable finds two early. VCAN will answer back, but you cannot be allowing Reliable to get two on you like that. So now it's going to make things a little tougher on the Saints. Will they find another? They get some shots onto that jet and they do actually get traded out though as Blossom will get shot down from Nyx and VCAN answers back with one of his own 2v2 health in favor of Lebanon spike looks like that they also planted the spike on B or A yeah swamp grenade is there but this yeah the frenzy is gonna be so big but that is actually gonna put the jet down and tag 6 to HP and Claude's actually tagged on that a little bit now too so these turrets are definitely causing problems we can be in the last player alive and they know exactly where he is Spots out the one. He gets the pick. And almost on Claude. That was a great effort from VCAN. I will cut him that slack, but some better shots from Claude. I, if you had to give an MVP of this game right here, right now, would it also be Claude? Because I think mine's Claude by a long shot. So now with Claude, it's kind of him just holding his set and he's doing a very great job at it. That, that's what I mean. He can, yeah. He's been doing a great job at soloing things. And it makes me a little bit more of like a personal favorite that I've been seeing consistent Ares and Odins on him. It makes me a little bit happy to see that, you know, let's go silver lobbies. But no, <laughs> no Claude, Claude is going to be using it here, you know, in the a playoff match essentially it's not a playoff match but it's a massive match for playoffs and you see him come through here with aries like that look at it he opens it up with an aries pick on the weekend so yeah there we go jrc though on a flank could find one and he does so great stuff there but he will get taken down drastically from the turret and uh they do have a little bit more focus on them here now from the side of lebanon uh but st Clair, good job at least on the pistols making this a four on four they will have the jet answering back takes down one but can casper find one no that's another one for the aries for claude and all up to jrc and v enemy remaining. no not jersey and v can it's it's jrc awesome. and uh like you were saying yeah Blossom. Planted. 1v4 he has a specter it's gonna be very difficult for him yeah, definitely, definitely will not be an ease. Definitely will not be a walk in the park. He does have two players up here and who could have worry about. Does run into the one. Nick's going to shut him down. Lebanon picking up a ninth. And you know what? Donka, I'm not going to say that's going to do it, but that's going to give Lebanon such an advantage in the second half. Just I mean, being hey, up four rounds. I mean, hey, they have the Aries. <laughs> they, yeah. they have the silver lobbies all the way through them. <laughs> For sure. So, anyhow, 9-5. Working my 9 to 5. Let's go. So, Lebanon and St. Clair currently at a little bit of a. No, sorry. St. Clair currently at a little bit of a deficit to uh, Lebanon here, looking to turn things around. But it's just pretty tough when you see Casper at the bottom of your leaderboard. Someone who. It doesn't really, you don't see that every day by any means necessary. Um, Casper being one of those players usually fragging out. Maybe the Yoru pick wasn't the brightest of ideas for this map or something. I don't know. Because the last time he pulled it out here, it worked out for him. I'm just a little bit concerned for the fact that there's like two or three players or five frags for the Saints right now. So, you know, I was talking to Casper about that actually. Unbind, Yoru is so cracked. It is, but at the same time, it, it's so cracked unless the other team knows how to shut it down. And clearly, Lebanon has been watching VODs of Casper playing Yoru. 
Because, I mean, they, they read, they're they reading Casper right now. That's the one thing. It's not like Casper's just losing his one-on-ones. It's the fact that Lebanon is ready for him. And that, that's the big thing right now. So, St. Clair still trailing by four. They're in a four-on-four. Four. This round is anybody's to win still. And it does look like Lebanon is moving this bomb over towards this A site. All they have to do is just, just hold sights. Just just hold hold corners. Hold, you know. St. Clair does have a fairly good setup here right now. If you see that um, there is actually a split push from Lebanon, that there's two players Take stuck kind of over here towards B uh, rather than going towards A with that bomb carrier. So that could be interesting. But it also could bait out some players from St. Clair. Like, you see the raise right now from St. Clair, JRC. He's rotating to B. Meanwhile, the bomb is over near A. Astra is going to be, like, Blossom is, has to go massive for St. Clair. I don't think they know that the bomb is on A. Yeah, well, <laughs> that is going to be their two picks for Blossom. He went massive, just as I said. Spots at a third. He will get cleaned up from Reliable, so Reliable will be here. But if St. Clair can prevent the bomb plant, which I think they should be able to, they can win this here. They will try to get some wall bank spray. And they find it! That's going to be huge! Spike planter killed. No spike goes down. Defenders win. And that's St. Clair picking up a sixth. Big wins there. Wombat cleans up Reliable too. Helps out their economy. And St. Clair putting themselves drastically back into this game. All it took was like, you know, that one round to put themselves really thoroughly back into it. Um, but, hey, we'll still see. Lebanon still have tons of money for a buy this round, which is probably my biggest concern right now. Is that St. Clair still once again going to have to go against a full buy despite winning a round. Well, I have a question for you. What do you think of the Odin? Like, using it's it in attacking Like, side. if you can control the spray, it, it, it's actually, like, a lot better than you think. Because the thing is with the Killjoy, too, is that he... It, it's maybe not as much good for the frags, but it's good for making sure that somebody can't push, push out of a position. Because he can, like, just hold down his left click, and it'll be shooting for, like, 10 seconds. 10 to 15 seconds. And no one's gonna walk into an Odin spray. Like, it's literally impossible. You let a gun down in a matter of milliseconds. Um, so he can just sit there and spray down an angle hold it off great for wall bangs uh the only downside is that like kind of like time it takes to cook it up right to get it to actually fire um but like or shooting through smokes even you see it just there like he can just spray through that smoke and it's much better for spraying through smokes than majority of other weaponry wombat actually will spot a player out here down through long haul this gives a lot more intel to st Clair to work with well see now that's the thing right uh with with KJ, or sorry, with uh, yeah, KJ using uh, an Odin on attacking side, it's kind of difficult. Not only that you have to carry it across the map, and you're way slower than any other weapon, but you also have to like shoot at the perfect time. You have to predict mm -hmm. where they're gonna peek. You have to predict everything. Yeah, I mean, honestly, comes with experience, and I'm gonna tell you right now, their KJ definitely uses LMGs often. Um, it's no surprise that he's just pulling this one out for a meme here or something like that, because he wouldn't have done it every single round this game. Um, but here we go. It's going to be now the attack coming through. Casper's in a great position here. He could really go big, and that's a big one there to just take himself out of it. But now that's one big kill there for the jet, but two for Blossom. Almost the third for Nyx, but can't find it. Now it's VKN on a rotation and a one on three. And I don't know if VKN's going to be able to pull this one off. They also have, their Sky also has their all plus, like, low HP. Yeah, they know exactly where VKN is now. So all of their... Crosshair is going to be pointing towards this defending side of door. That's a big pick early. Maybe another, but no. Nick's going to clean him up. Nix has been pretty clutch in some of these situations as well, uh, closing out some rounds. But 10 6, Lebanon leads now. St. Clair going to be on a pistol? No, they're forcing. I agree with the force here. I'm going to be completely honest because at this point in time, Lebanon, three rounds away from closing this one out, it gets to a point where you have to just force. They're not really forcing, they're keeping some money, which is really good too. But um, I, I do agree with the five sheriff play. I just think it's going to be really hard. The sheriff shots have been uh, a little tough for them to connect on today. So now what I would do is I would full full on go for this one. Buy as much as I can. Next round, completely save. And then the round after, which is the last round, if we were to lose all the rounds, I would go big. Yeah, it really does come down to whatever they want to do here. Claude, though, opening it up with an Odin frag. And what's new? It's the storyline of this game, uh, apparently, as of now. Um, Casper will actually drop that frenzy there for a sheriff. A little bit of an upgrade for himself. And he does now head back over towards this middle of the site. He's looking for Reliable on the rotation. He will get one pick onto him, but can't clean up the frag. And now it's going to be Casper focusing, focusing his attention over here towards U-Haul. I didn't even know that was wall bangable, I'm going to be honest. I don't think it is. I think it was just shooting it. Anyhow, 
We'll fight. We'll see one day. Maybe we see a frag come through there one day. Wombat gonna get the intel that the bomb going down on B. Casper gets the pick off on a reliable. He does end up cleaning up that kill. Now in a four on four. Anybody's round to win. However, Lebanon with a huge upper hand as they have bombed down post plants already ready. And they have the weaponry to go against St. Clair here right now. And that's a big pick there from JRC. Wombat will go down in the process though. And that's another pick frag for Jet onto VCAN. Two on three in favor of Lebanon. Now making a one on three all up to Casper. And he will get fragged down. St. Clair drop a Another Lebanon lead by five. Uh, it's going to be very difficult for SEZ to pull <laughs> to pull this back. Excuse me. Yeah, uh, like you were saying, going to be very difficult for them to pull this back. Now down by five. Um, this gets to a point where you're like, okay, like the motivation, the morale is not there for the Saints. And it's just going to be a lot tougher for them to try to win around. You see in this half already, it's a 4-1 half for Lebanon, um, which is far from what you're looking to deal with here. But... They will have the buys. One thing I find really interesting is actually Wombat pulling out the Guardian, uh, coming through with that weapon. Something you don't see every day. To me, Guardian is the mini op. It's yeah. It's one of the best guns. See, I'd say like, uh, like personally, like, I guess I, I I take back everything I said. I was gonna say Guardian and Marshall are fairly even. It's just one has like a little bit better of a scope and whatnot, and one does a little bit more damage per one shot. Uh, but like if you had the option, like obviously choose the Guardian, and that's obviously why the Guardian's worth like an extra thousand three hundred or whatever it is. Um, yeah, like you said, it's like essentially a mini op. It's crazy when you get a one tap with the Guardian. It feels so satisfying. But we are going to see an early four on two in favor of Lebanon St. Clair. Can't get these picks going. All up to Vcant and JRC to pull something off here. They do spot out the Jet and there is a frag there. So now a two on three and they do spot out a player Hookah as well. So the Intel's there. Can they win it off of the Intel? I mean, their Sky is one shot. Looks like that race oh. still on A. Nyx gets a big pick. I think he TP'd over there, and he will get the frag from it. And that was a very, very good TP there from Nyx. Gonna just distract the player a little bit. And now some smokes come through, but JRC spotted out just before. Both of them are, like, shooting the outline of each other's bodies. None of them actually connecting on any shots until now. JRC getting it tagged down to 78 total HP. Tries to send out that as, like, a kind of a bait for util, but Omen's just going to constantly resmoke this. JRC is just not in a winning position to win this round. Reliable cleans it up, and there it is. Lebanon up match point. Yeah, I was talking to the uh, players earlier. Um, JR, JR, uh, sorry, I was talking to Blossom, and he was like, do you know what the best thing is? When you throw your gun, and they think it's a util, they look away, and, he, <laughs> and you just kill them. That came from CS so big. Like CS, that that was the biggest CS thing because it, I find it it works a lot easier in CS:GO than it does in Valorant because like flashes just look different and like you know you see someone like, throw out a pistol, it just looks a little bit different in general. And you can't throw weapons as far in Valorant as you can in CS. So it, it really does, you know, like like you said, like it, it feels amazing when it actually does work out. But it doesn't work out in that case scenario. Now four on four as we have some early picks come through over towards a short wombat looking to get a little aggressive potentially, but will not find anything. The player that worries me right now is KJ and showers with an Odin. It, it, it makes me so scared for the Saints. It looks like that they're also going to be rotating around. KJ may be going through mid looking for any picks. No, it looks like... They could be fake rotating. Yeah, I'm, I'm not exactly 100% on what's going to be happening as of now, but it does look like Lebanon's pressure is still focused towards A, despite the Sova being mid watching TP. Like, I think a Sova might think someone was TP for a second. I don't really know, but Sova's going to go hookah now. JRC will open it up on a jet, and Casper's in a great spot to find someone out here as well. Uh, but I don't know who's going to take down JRC. So we get some early trades over there on the other side of the map. Now a three on three. As a bunch of one-on-one -on -one trades have gone through. Claude, going to see the dog run into U-Haul. But now it really worries me for, like, Casper sitting back here with his. And he will clean it up. So good stuff with the Ares there. He will spot out another. But I don't know who could have the Phantom. And that's the benefit of a Phantom over an Ares, right? You know, I don't know who had so much more time to get first shot off than he did with cooking up the Ares. It was pretty difficult. Big Killjoy there. But they are going to destroy it. That's... I that might just wrap it up for Lebanon, honestly, unless Wombat can go crazy here. Um, but yeah, destroying that KJ's uh, ult was so big for the side of Lebanon to come through and win this round, if they do. Uh, but it does look like that's honestly probably going to be the case. Wombat, he has six Bulldog bullets. He's got to reload. Reliable is in a position right now where he can just play time and make Wombat kind of rush him. Reliable, cleaning it up. Lebanon Valley going to take map number one, 13 to 6 over St. Clair College. 
You want to change your prediction? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, <laughs> my prediction's down the drain now, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm not worried for St. Clair. I'm going to be completely honest. Uh, despite that losing that one, the only thing that worries me is if this map takes too much of a toll on their momentum and mental. That's the biggest thing that concerns me right now. I think they're going to be A-OK -okay map-wise and side-wise. You're going into a Haven and Breeze map 2 and 3 if you do make it to that map 3, and you're going to be defending to start off on both sides. I think that's really big here for the Saints to come through. As you see, like, there's only one player in the top five for the Saints that game uh, up to like combat score, right? So it's a little tough to see come through here for the Saints, but they are going to try to turn things around here as we do head over to Haven on the defending side to start us off and try to even things up a little bit. But as for Lebanon Valley, their playoff run's starting to look pretty decent. It's starting to look like, you know, Lebanon Valley winning that one map might just secure them in. And they actually won that map fairly dominantly too. What was the final score on that one again? 13 to 7? 13 to 6. Okay, yeah, 13-6. Like, that's massive for Lebanon Valley. Like, I think Lebanon Valley really grinded scrims this week, watched a ton of VOD and whatnot, because Lebanon Valley has been uh, looking like they're reading St. Clair like a book, and they are, like, really focusing up here because of how crucial of a game this is for them. Uh, it's big factors that we've seen here throughout this whole game as of already. St. Clair College now going on to Haven, starting defending side. What do you think they do differently here? So now with Haven, if they're starting on the defending side, it's it's you have to th defend three sites. So for them, it's, it has to be like a bit difficult. But I, we've that's what seen can, that's what concerns me with them starting on the attack of Bind and then starting on the defense of Haven. It seems as if they're starting on the not so favored side of each of their first two maps, right? So that that's what makes me a little bit concerned. But I think they should be a okay for the defense there on the Haven, but. I mean, yeah, so like you were saying, continue, carry on with what you were saying, but I, I just, yeah. So I also believe that uh, they banned the first map. We picked the, fir uh, we picked the first map. They, uh, we ban a map, they pick a map. So I believe that Haven is their pick. Yeah. Alongside, I think we picked defending. Haven Haven is their pick. I, uh, I'm i almost a guarantee on it. Uh, but... We are going to take a quick five minute break here real quick as we do get ready to go into game two. We're going to let the players use the washroom, maybe grab a quick drink or something like that. As of now, St. Clair looking to bounce back in game number two here right around the corner. Stay with us. It gets instantly traded out from I don't know who. And now Wombat, great shock dart. They're going to force some players off the point. Gets a cleaned up kill. Now in this two on two, no time for it. And it's going to be a St. Clair round win. Wow, no weapons even recovered for left round, I'd say, is like a massive round. Casper being taken down to 37 is not a great start, but Wombat will be able to get a trade. Casper is a madman for being in here this quick. He will get the intel on Reliable, and there's the refrag, but now they know another one's elbow too, but that should be two for Jet, and you can't let that happen if you're the Saints. All up to the Killjoy and Astro and a two. There it is, so... They are both coming through here around this spawn area, but Reliable's right here and ready for it. He's all the intel he needs. That dart could clean up JRC, but no, it's just going to tag out Casper. And there's the dart cleaning them up. Reliable finds two. Lev going to get caught out. Now, will they predict on the Blossom just sitting underneath? I love this play from Blossom. I think Blossom wins this round. You know what? I really want to believe it. He has one HP and a hope and a dream. He knows this player is stuck up here. And there it is, right? Blossom, great stuff there. Clean. I mean... I agree with you, but I'd rather. You oh, know. for sure, for yeah. sure. <laughs> six six is the best uh, the Saints can get this half to right now, and we'll see if they're able to do that. Beacon clearing out all this early, and maybe getting a pick. Yes, it is. There's a great one there onto the jet as he's trying to escape. Wombat finds one with the dart as well, so there's a reliable down just like that. Jersey hasn't popped his ult yet this game, um, and his ult's a phenomenal art, a phenomenal ult in my opinion. Uh, it can really just shoot in the general decision. Yeah, there it is. JRC's all coming through already. Can he find one? Yes, he does. That's exactly why they get the entry frag. Yes, Jet will answer back with one of his own. Jet answers actually Jack with two, but JRC, big share of pick to the head. Wombat gets one with the dart onto the Jet. Heaven come through. Not yet from JRC. They're playing it safe. JRC peeks out. He knows the players to the right. And they have all the cards in their favor. Reliable swings on the Killjoy, finds the frag. Now a 1v1. JRC has time to work with. All he has to do is shut down this player. He spots it out, shuts One it. Those first two, economy is way better than the team of Lasso's first two. And you look at it from the perspective that, you know, you win a pistol round, you're usually winning a second or third round with that. Most of the time, if you win your pistol. Reliable finds two early. Vcan will answer back. He's went out for a meme here or something like that, because he wouldn't have done it every single round this game. Um, but 
Here we go. It's going to be now the attack through. Casper's in a great position here. He can really go big, and that's a big one there to just take himself out of it. But now that's one big kill there for the Jet, but two for Blossom. Almost the third for Nyx, but can't find it. Now it's VKN on a rotate. Bomb down. Post plants already ready. And they have the weaponry to go against St. Clair here right now. And that's a big pick there from JRC. Wombat will go down in the process, though. And that's another pick right for Jet onto VKN. Two on three in favor of Lebanon. Now making a one on three all up to Casper. And he will get fragged down. St. Clair drop another Lebanon lead by five.